Hi folks, welcome back. Um, this is Arlene again from the Carver's Wood Shop. We're doing a wren. Um, what I'm going to show you is we put a little line here uh, to show where this this portion comes out. What we're going to do is we're going to um, go on the back here and cut this portion out. So what you want to do is take your knife. You can put a line there if you'd like. If it's easier for you to follow. Just put a line like so. And you want something that has a little bit more, um, you know, a little more uh, like a, uh, a roughing knife. You can do it with your your detail knife too as well, but I always find that this one works pretty good too. So we're just going to start cutting this out from behind here. And it takes a little practice to do this. You know, I kind of do one side and then I do the other. And, uh, you know, try to, try to dig it out. Let me get rid of these glasses here. And what you want to do is uh, take this out quite a bit. We're going to keep cutting this. And you want your carving glove on for this, folks. Um, you don't want to cut yourself. You know, just take a little bit off at a time. You don't have to do a lot at one time. All right. And then go back just like so. And then turn around. And the grain's running this way. So it's going to be a little tougher to do. And cut out some more. And cut that up like that. And we've got see how far we have to go. Now that's about a quarter, maybe a quarter of an inch or so um, from here. Maybe an uh, maybe an eighth or three eighths of an inch thick. We'll leave. We're not going to go too much further because we've got to make sure we don't take off too much there. Okay, so we're going to keep going here. See, and you can put a couple stop cuts in there before you make that initial cut. And then I turn around and I trim this side off. Just like so. Okay, so I'm going to go one more time. And then I'm going to let it go for a little bit until we get more cutting up here, you know, on our own. Just like so. Okay, see how that's come, see how that's come out pretty good? Alright, so, just want to kind of round that off. You don't want to go too far to the edge yet, alright? And then we're going to clean this up in the bottom portion right there, just like so. And this should be pretty rounded already here around the body. Make sure you get all your edges off all those rough spots off from the band. So I keep telling you that because if you miss it, it will show up when you go to paint. Alright, so the other cut that we have as well, we have one uh, slightly at the top, not a lot, but we're going to do this portion here. So what we're going to do first is we're going to cut a little bit out right here. We're just going to push this in like so and just cut a little piece out just like that. Alright, so now we're going to cut this out, but this runs this way, so you're going to have to go from this direction, from the end of the tail towards yourself. Okay, we're going to just do this for a second here, and cut all this off. And there's a, a line from here to here, so I'm going to just put that line in, this right here, that you see this bend, I'm just going to put take my knife and you can draw it on there first if you want just like so you know from the back to the front and then you're going to put a stop cut there and you're going to kind of bring everything to that that area you know you're going to cut it out till that meets just like that okay and then you're going to turn this around you're going to make this side meet that way as well just like that so this is at an angle, remember. See how this is at an angle? That's what we're, what we're creating right there. Okay? So I'm just going to take that all the way to the edge. Remember, clean it up. Now, I have that pretty flat. If you want to make that slightly rounded, that's fine. Uh, that won't hurt it at all. But I'll, I'll do it like it, the original is. Okay, just like that. And I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to follow that to that line. There you go. 
Alright, so we're going to just round this off a little bit more. And we're going to take all this rough stuff off. Remember, take all the rough stuff off from the bandsaw. You don't want to see any lines at all. As much as you can, uh, take a good look at it. You can turn it different ways and the light will show. Like this way you won't see it. If you turn it this way, you see how we see it right there? That's got to come off. Because that will show up when we paint. This won't be a long project since we did the cardinal. It was a much bigger project than, than the wren. But you know, we'll try to take it step by step. We're rounding off the back and we did the tail area here. Now I'm going to take this in just a tad more like so. If it's not deep enough, just make another stop cut. And then we're going to... Okay. Now, what we're ready to do now, believe it or not, we are ready to um, to start sanding because all this feathering will come up later on. Okay. Oh, one thing I forgot to tell you. This goes up. See this area right here? This is kind of like his butt area. So what we want to do is just do a little cut from the opposite side and follow it up. Just like that. Okay? And we can sand that out a little bit. Okay. Just like that. And I'm going to take a piece of sandpaper because that's kind of hard to get in there. And just kind of round that off a little bit. Okay, just like that. See that? That's exactly what we want. Alright, we're going to take this, that off a little bit, just like so. Alright, so we've got this pretty well figured out here. So what I want you to do is I want, to go, I want you to go back and I want you to round off or start sanding your bird because next time we come back we're going to put the feathering in and um, all that don't forget this is a little bit um, rounded here so you might want to take a little rounded piece of sandpaper to round that out a little further or take a very good detailed knife and scoop that out just a tad more okay um, after we're done with that we're going to put the bill in the next time we're around okay bye bye